Tom Rawson, dairy farmer, left Harper Adams College in 1999 and have been dairy farming ever since. Became a partner with my parents and my wife in 2006 at our home farm, which is a tenancy in West Yorkshire, and then uh, was a co-founder of Evolution Farming in 2010. Evolution farming is an interesting structure and uh, very untraditional in terms of a family business. So there's three directors, uh, myself, uh, Charlie Crotty and Oliver Hall, and we are equal shareholders in terms of ownership. Beyond that we have preferential shares, which are investment, money that's put in invest, investment in the company, which will be paid a return based on how the business performs. And then beyond that is third party finance, if you like, either private loans or money from the bank. My name's Charlie Crotty. I have been in Dairy Farm for a relatively short space of time, um, having formed uh, a new venture with Tom and bought into Evolution Farming. Uh, my background is uh, I studied agriculture at Newcastle University and then worked in consultancy for four years um, before buying into Evolution Farming. The Stoughton Estate in Leicester, where we're farming, is farmed by Farm Care, who are owned by the Wellcome Trust. It's around four and a half thousand acres, which is a mixture of now grass, um, arable cropping and woodland, and also some environmental schemes as well. And our, our part of it is about a thousand acres, which is put aside to the dairy unit, the remainder being on arable. So when, when we first visited the site, I was pretty much like a ghost town, hadn't been milking here for 15 years. Uh, all the buildings were in place, but a lot of the infrastructure had gone. Uh, a lot of the cubicles, or all of the cubicles had gone missing. All the surrounding fields were down to arable. So obviously they've had to be put down to grass. There was an opportunity on, on this farm at Oadby working with a large, effectively new landowner, which is the Wellcome Trust. You know, they've bought a huge amount of land. Uh, they're really interested in sustainable farming system so on this farm it's the return to mixed farming but a mixed farming at scale. The opportunity here is it's not every day you come across somebody that's got a an old 500 cow dairy unit that stood really doing nothing and it was literally doing nothing and also that's got money that they want to invest and they want to see a return on. So the, the initial plan on this on this farm is to go to 650 cows. Um, the way that we've collected a herd together we are going to have an autumn calving portion initially and then we'll be completely spring calving. Um, once we've reached 650 cows and hopefully things are going well then we've got the opportunity to expand uh, with a huge amount of land sat around the dairy um, so we could go as high as probably a thousand cows. The overall capital spend we're looking at a budget of between 1.1 and 1.2 million from the landowners. Uh, we're hoping to do it for 800 to 900,000. I guess within that then if things are running well and we can see sort of the vision to plan B or phase B which is the expansion further beyond 650 then we can use some of the money that we would have spent to take to be able to take us further on. For example we are putting two 2448 milking parlours in but we're actually leaving room for a third milking parlour so get to phase B the third milky parlour can go in and hopefully within our original capital spend. I think the key numbers we'll concentrate on on here, this farm, as I said, are return on capital because it's really important to us to provide returns for our investors who've put faith in us and invested money in the business. Um, and also, um, we really want to grow the business and if we're not, not achieving good return, levels of return on capital, we can't grow. Um, in order to achieve good levels of return on capital, we'll be monitoring fertility, because we've got to retain and build numbers if you want to grow. Um, so herd health is a really big one, so KPIs around that, so empty rates. Um, and then in terms of what the farm, the physical being is actually doing, the level of grass growth on the farm, the amount of grass we're eating and utilising. The other point for us is the total capital spend. So any money that's spent here on infrastructure is the landlord is providing, but we have to pay a 10% return on capital. So if we can spend £400,000 less to achieve the same end result, that's £40,000 a year less we'll have to give to them, which will be a penny a litre, for example. So in terms of cost of production then, 
you know, if we if we can draw even at a milk price of 21p, I think we've done a, a fairly good effort. I think the other interesting thing here, we don't get a single farm payment and we don't get a single farm payment on our farm in Lincolnshire. So in terms of Brexit um, related issues, then we're building a system that hopefully doesn't rely on direct support. The reason that we'd like to be involved in a uh, focus farm project, uh, one is I think we've got a good opportunity here on, on a good project to really start and get people involved and to come and see what we're doing. The other one for us is from a selfish point of view it's really going to make us be up to date with our figures and facts and figures and also you know if everybody's got access to looking at them then they need to be really good <laughs> so no, no pressure on ourselves but that, that's what it's you know for us personally that it's all about um, obviously from a, a, a selfish point of view hopefully building our brand uh, but also I think we've got quite a lot to offer in terms of different way that we have dairy agreements so there's benefits here from working with the arable farmers as far as AHDB is concerned they are a cereals monitor farm so there's an obvious link up there I think I would you know, it'd be nice to have a, a joint meeting where we could bring arable and, and dairy farmers together and see what we can learn off each other, benchmark with each other and see the obvious link up. You know, they've got big problems in terms of organic matter degradation and also black grass control, which I think we, we as dairy farmers can help them with. Uh, also on, on this farm, we've got a straw for muck deal, which is not uncommon, but probably not as common as it used to be. And also, you know, helping people realise, but also if we can get some actual financial tangible benefits of that as well. So what does success look like on this project? It's a minimum 15% return on capital I think for us, um, a low empty rate, you know, surplus stock that we can either sell off or hopefully expand.